number of students in this class we study understanding quadrilaterals third chapter mcq part 2 in the previous class we solved 12 problems mcq now we will continue with the 13th problem the 13th problem given here is dash is a quadrilateral as pair of adjacent sides equal and its diagonals intersect at 90 degree so here four options are given first one is circle rhombus square and kite so this answer holds good for kite see this is the diagram of the kite where it has a pair of adjacent adjacent sides so these two sides are equal and these two sides are equal and its diagonals there are two diagonals intersect at 90 degrees so this is the solution this is a kite so two pair of parallel sides they have and the diagonals intersect at 90 degree. So option D is the correct answer. So now next question is 14th one. There are three, three fill up the blanks. Dash, dash and dash or number of diagonals, sides and vertices of a quadrilateral. So what is a quadrilateral means four sided. So here uh, now saying the quadrilateral four side you got the answer. So a quadrilateral will have that is four sides, four vertices and four diagonals. So option D is the correct answer. So next one, 15th one, if P and Q are two adjacent angles of a parallelogram, so angle P is 80 degrees then angle Q is how much so here see the adjacent angles of a parallelogram are supplementary so here P plus Q means angle P plus Q in a parallelogram will be equal to that is adjacent angles will be equal to 180 degrees so what is P given here substitute P as 80 degrees then plus Q is then 180 minus 80 will be equal to 180 degrees minus 80 degrees will be equal to 100 degrees. So here option B is the correct answer. 1 degree is given. Add these two adjacent angles will be equal to 180. Substitute P given as 80 degrees here. Then P plus Q 180. 180 minus 80 is equal to 100 degrees. So option B is the correct answer. So now we move on to the 16th one. So all, all the angles of a square is. So all the angle of the square will be how much. See this is the square. So all the angles of the square will be. The four options are given. That is right angle, acute angle, obtuse angle and none. So here this is right angle. So all the angles in the square will be right angle. So, which is option A is the correct answer. So, we completed the 13th, 14th, 15th and 16th. We move on to the next one. That is the 17th problem. Here the 17th problem given is. This is a formula. That is 2n minus 4 by n into 90 degree is used to measure the internal angle of so we have formula for each so here this formula is particularly used to find out the internal angle of there are four options regular um, hexagon square regular polygon and circle so the option is this one is used to find the interior angle of regular hexagon so this is the 17 now we move on to the 18 the sum of measure of three angles of a dash is 180 so the here see the answer we can find in the question itself so sum of measure of three angles three angles means that is triangle so angle of a dash is 180 means here 3 means it is triangle 
so the option so four options square quadrilateral triangle and hexagon so the answer is that is triangle the question only when it is mentioned three the option c is the correct answer next 19th one dash is a three a three sided regular polygon as we have seen here three sided it is given so which is the answer here four options are given that is regular octagon regular hexagon equilateral triangle then square so the answer is so equilateral triangle since here only three sided they have given so triangle having three sides so option c is the correct answer now the 20th problem is the diagonals of regular hexagon comma quadrilateral and triangles three they have given three diagrams that is three geometrical figures that is the diagonals of a regular hexagon so we uh, solved this in the theory class or the exercise problems are solved already how many diagonals that the hexagon have quadrilaterals and the triangle since we know triangle is always having so this is the order so triangle is always having zero diagonals so the option a c they are given in the order so option a is the correct answer the hexagon will be having nine and the quadrilaterals will be having two then the triangle triangle uh, sorry triangles will have zero diagonals so this is the correct answer so we completed 20th problem we move on to the 21st so in the 21st pqrs is a rectangle pr and qs are its diagonals if pr is equal to 8 cm then find qs so see this one is a rectangle where p pr and qs are the diagonals diagonals so pr is 8 cm then find qs so one diagonal they have given as 8 cm other diagonal qs is just the figure is like this i'll just write down this is one diagonal this is two diagonal this is pq or s so this one pr is given so 8 cm so what is the qs the other diagonal so the diagonals of the rectangle are always equal so in the rectangle both the diagonals will be equal so what is the answer the option given here as a is 10 cm b is 8 cm c is 6 cm d is none so the option since the diagonals are equal the given pr is 8 cm qs qs will also be equal to 8 cm now next one is 22nd the dash is a regular quadrilateral so here four options are given that is a circle and a rectangle square none so dash a square is a regular quadrilateral so option c is the correct answer 23rd one if each exterior angle of a regular polygon is 40 degrees find the number of sides so each exterior angle of a regular polygon is 40 degrees the number of sides will be 9 so next or next if the measure of all the four angles of a quadrilateral or the same then the angle is see if the measure of all the four angles of the quadrilateral so same the angle is four angles of the quadrilateral same means what is the angle so in that case the angle will be 90 degree see the question if this give if the four angles are same so then we it is 90 degree so option that is a is the correct answer 
So this completes the 24th. We move on to the 25th problem. So here, if the perimeter of the rectangle is 12 centimeters and the length is 4 centimeter, find the breadth of the rectangle. So perimeter given equal to 12 centimeters. Then length is given as 4 centimeters. Then breadth is equal to how much? So we know the formula that is perimeter is equal to 12, 2 into 2 into length plus breadth. So we will write perimeter substitute 12 here. Then 2 into length given as 4 centimeter breadth. breadth. So calculate this one 12 is equal to 4 to the 8 plus 2b. Then how much that is? So here 12 is there therefore bring this 2b is equal to 12 minus 8 therefore 12 minus 8 will be 4 therefore b is equal to 4 by 2 to 1 sa, 2 to sa. therefore length will be equal to sorry breadth will be equal to 2 centimeters so four options are given here that is 12 centimeters 4 centimeters 2 centimeters and 6 centimeters the answer we calculated so we are getting 2 centimeters So now 26 problem dash is not a regular polygon. So here four options is given not a regular polygon. The rectangle, hexagon, regular hexagon, equilateral triangle and square. So here these three are that is regular hexagon, equilateral triangle, square all are polygon. But only this rectangle is not a regular polygon. So now we move on to the 27th. In the 27th problem, dash and dash are the diagonals of a regular hexagon and triangle. As we know, uh, as we know, this triangle will always have a zero diagonals. So take this into the consideration zero diagonals, but the order should be hexagon and triangle. So what is the option here? Correct option will be A. The hexagon is having 9 diagonals and triangle is having 0 diagonals. So option A is the correct answer. Now we move on to the next one. That is the 28th question. Regular hexagon with 6 side is always called as regular hexagon with the six side is always called as C. Four options are given. That is a circle. Next is a square. Then it is a rectangle. Then the regular polygon. Hexagon with the six side is always called as a regular polygon. So option which one? D is the correct answer. So we yeah, in this uh, today's class we completed the 28th problem so first uh, class we solved 1 to 12 now here in this class we are uh, we solved 12 to 28 problem in the next class we'll, uh, we'll uh, solve some more uh, these multiple choice questions or objective types so if you have any doubts comment me share and like all the videos subscribe my channel thank you